Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Black Ops 4 Zombies Blood of the Dead video. So as you guys know, thanks to Glitching Queen's team, the Golden Scalpel melee weapon upgrade on Blood of the Dead has just been found. If you want to know how to go ahead and complete that easter egg, there will be a link to a tutorial down in this video's description. It's a very, very long easter egg that requires you to go ahead and get the Golden Spork as well as the Hell's Redeemer on the map first. And the very first step for that easter egg after you have gotten those two items is to get a hundred golden spork kills by the tub within new industries and after that the water will turn to blood and then you're able to press square xrf to place your golden spork in the tub then there's a load of steps to do with collecting gems etc etc as i said if you want to know how to do that there will be a link to a tutorial down in this video's description however once you have managed to get the golden scalpel that does have the three gems on these are some sort of elemental gems they're actually to be honest probably based off of the infinity stones but once you've gotten the scalpel you are able to go back up to the tub and press square xrf to place it back in and this is how far the community has gotten up to within this easter egg so far we are around one or two steps away from completing this easter egg it's very close to being completed because as you guys know call of nobody cares did actually leak the full easter egg ages ago the full easter egg is to merge the golden spark and the golden scalpel together to make the spark knife. And since the community has gone up to the point where both are within the tub, there is something we have to do next, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. Now, on screen right now, you can see some gameplay of the Golden Spark upgrade from FR7 Galaxy using mod tools. Now, I believe there are actually elemental effects to the Spark knife that, that we will be able to use that the modded version does not show, unfortunately. And it will probably be a one hit to kill forever, to be honest. It's going to be an amazing weapon that will have elemental effects effects to it. The scalpel knife does actually have two elemental effects which are kilowatt and also cryo freeze but they activate very rarely so I'm assuming the golden spark upgrade will have all of the AATs, the double pack of punch effects. However I believe a new step has been found for the spark knife because after you have placed the golden scalpel back within the tub you will notice that if you go over to the catwalk there is this sign here which says 666 on and it's just a warning sign however after you've gotten the scalpel there will now be a knife. This was actually found by DK Dynamite. I was in a game with him whilst this was found. I will leave a link to his channel down in this video's description. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to him. Great friend and he makes amazing content. Yes, that is right. A knife or a dagger stabbed into the sign with a note on it. This note says 386A and guess what? That number is actually Sal DeLuca's prison number. So this easter egg is something to do with Sal DeLuca. Obviously, Rick Toffin had the blood vials of Sal DeLuca and Finn O'Leary that allowed the cycle to perpetuate on Revelations as it created a paradox that meant Dr. Monty had to send them back in time to their medieval format. So what is important about Sal DeLuca and why is there this knife with his prison number on? You know what it sounds like? It sounds like there is a hit on Sal DeLuca and by a hit I mean that someone has probably paid a contractor, a contract killer, to kill him. So this is the next step to get the spork knife. We will combine these golden scalpel as well as as the golden spark together and maybe we will retrieve it from the dead body of Sal DeLuca. Or maybe this explains the backstory of the knife. Obviously if you guys have read all of the letters from Blood of the Dead where our characters confess their sins, there are lots of letters to do with Sal DeLuca and the DeLuca crime family and obviously since he was a criminal there are a lot of people who wanted him dead. So maybe this could be the backstory behind the spark knife and maybe one of the inmates within Alcatraz could have been paid to try and kill Sal DeLuca. The reward for the hit might not have even been money. It could have simply been a lesser sentence at the prison or an upgraded cell or some sort of benefit. Maybe the person who hired the hit had connections with the inmates. Maybe they had connections with Stanley Ferguson. After all, Sal DeLuca did kill Stanley Ferguson. And within the letters on Blood of the Dead, Sal DeLuca does confess that he does feel bad that he did kill Stanley Ferguson because he actually liked him. Obviously, being mobsters, the DeLuca Luca crime family would get in lots of turf wars with other gangs and mobs. So it was most likely one of those people who probably hired a hit on Sal DeLuca. Obviously, he ended up dying by electric chair along with the other three inmates after they killed Al on the rooftops due to them failing to escape Alcatraz on the plane. But maybe this is the backstory behind the spork knife. This was something that one of the inmates might have crafted, handcrafted themselves to try and kill 
Sal DeLuca and that is the storyline of it and maybe the final step is getting the spork knife from Sal DeLuca's dead body. We obviously know within the Blood of the Dead easter egg that our four Mob of the Dead characters are now ghosts and our Arlington Weasel is the ghost of the seagull as that represents Icarus, obviously Icarus from Mars, the plane etc etc so that's sort of his spirit animal because he managed to break the cycle so it allowed him to be free from that pain. However the other three Mob of the Dead characters are simply the ghosts and they all help us within the easter egg to defeat the warden although we fell into the warden's trap created by the shadow man which was a trap for another trap which was the trap created by Mob of the Dead and obviously we do free all of the souls from Alcatraz within the Blood of the Dead ending. So yeah we are as you were saying only one or two steps away from completing this easter egg but it's something to do with Sal de Luca and it is something to do with this knife. I don't know what only time will tell we'll just have to wait and see but I just thought I would share with you guys the progress that we have made so far as a community and hopefully we do solve the spark knife easter egg very very soon. But anyways thank you for watching the video make sure to subscribe if you're not of latest and greatest black as well as zombies news and information so just thank you for watching and uh, bye.